What's up guys, I am back and I got some information to share with you. Um, I made a mistake and it can easily happen. It can happen to anybody, all right? Uh, the AR pistol build. I just recently posted up that video. Love that thing, runs good, uh, but I ran into an issue. In the comments, uh, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain to you guys how I caught this. In the comments, uh, somebody had asked me what I thought about the muzzle brake the VG6 Gamma, the Gamma VG6. And I didn't know how to answer that question because I really wasn't impressed with it. So I went back and I looked at the video and I ran it in slow motion. Guys, the muzzle brake was installed wrong. It was upside down. That's why I was fighting the pistol. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys how easy this can happen. This can happen to anybody. Um, when you look or put in a Google search for these muzzle brakes, you're gonna see what I'm talking about. The logo does not face up. The logo faces down. And in the video, you're also gonna see where the gases were being released. I'm gonna show you guys that clip real quick and then I'm also gonna show you guys how to install this muzzle brake the right way. different muzzle brakes here and I'm going to show you guys the difference between the four and how easy it is to make the mistake with B Gamma 556 okay uh, we have the Alpha Shooting Sports this is the Colossal this thing's a beast uh, Surefire SOCOM the Gamma 762 and the Gamma 556 okay let's start off with the Alpha Shooting Sport so this is uh, chambered for 223 and as you can see, we have some ports here on the side, and then we have some here on the top. It's pretty obvious which way this needs to face, okay? So we're gonna have these ports on top facing up, and that's where our gases are gonna be released. Surefire SOCOM. We got ports on the side, nothing on this side, and then we have two small ports here. It's pretty obvious with the logo, we're gonna be facing up, okay? Also, there's a little dot down here where you could stake the um, muzzle brake to the, to the barrel or weld it, uh, but we're, we're not worried about that. So that's a pretty easy install, okay? Gamma 762. This is VG6's muzzle brake. I run this on my 308s. We got ports here facing up and we have their logo. Also, you have a hole here for the uh, weld job on the, on the barrel. This right here is the proper way to install it. This is the way it's gonna be facing up, okay? The Gamma 556. We have the logo and 12 ports right here with the logo. And on the opposite side, we have some more. So when I looked at this Gamma, because you don't have any holes down here to weld it on the barrel, I just automatically assumed the logo is gonna face up. Nope. It's facing down. The logo faces down and these slits would be facing up. When I was shooting it in the video and you will see in the video when I was actually talking about it, I got some crap on me. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I had the logo facing up. That is incorrect, guys. You want these slits facing up. Time to throw it on the rifle. Oh, the pistol. I don't go around claiming I'm an expert and gunsmith and all this stuff. I mean, we all make mistakes, right? Uh, but something that's very frustrating is, is, is uh, how many images I see out there that are so misleading. <laughs> you do that Google search and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. A lot of the images you see are going to have this logo facing up. And I understand it's a, it's, it's a marketing thing. It's an advertising thing and, and it helps you identify what muzzle brake you're looking at, but it's really misleading. It has you thinking that this faces up and it doesn't. This is the correct way. We got a good crush washer on there. That was another thing that should have thrown up a red flag for me uh, was the um, was the crush washer. So whenever I was installing this, 
uh, a lot of the manufacturers will have the muzzle brake timed to where you, you just get enough pressure on the on the crush washer and you can you can time it correctly well whenever i was cranking on it i was really putting a lot of pressure on this crush washer to get it timed right when i was actually doing it wrong so i ended up having to cut the crush washer off because it was so uh it was crushed so vents are facing up pistol is unloaded guys all right so don't panic and we are timed correctly and we're good to go I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please hit the like button, get those subs going, get those notifications going, and I'll see you guys in the next video.